The recent Captain America 4 title change from New World Order to Brave New World means we could see Hydra in the MCU again. So this title change to Brave New World hints at a potential link to a series in the comics that involves Hydra. Just real quick for anyone that is new to the MCU and may not know what Hydra is, Hydra is basically a paramilitary terrorist organization that in terms of the MCU was started during uh, World War II era with the rise of the Nazis, started by Johann Schmidt, where they both wanted to achieve world domination. Eventually, Johann Schmidt with Hydra separated from Nazism on their own accord to try to dominate the world themselves. We've seen Hydra, of course, in the three previous Captain America movies, and we've also seen them in the Avengers Age of Ultron. They've also been mentioned in lots of other MCU movies. So again, there's a huge potential link to the comics with this title change. There's a huge crossover event called Secret Empire Brave New World, where essentially Hydra has hypnotized Steve Rogers, Captain America, revealing that he has been a sleeper agent for Hydra the entire entire time, which then forces the Avengers and other superheroes to go against their beloved friend or basically submit to the new Hydra regime. While this would be a super interesting plot in Captain America 4, we already know that Chris Evans does not want to return as Captain America right now. And that would also just doesn't make the most sense. It would basically take away from the currently new Captain America. But what we do know is that the villains, the leader and Thunderbolt Ross in Captain America 4, have a potential link to Hydra, in particular Thunderbolt Ross. There is currently a theory that Ross is a secret undercover Hydra agent who's basically been working for them through the US government to basically thwart the Avengers. While we of course don't know if Ross is truly an undercover agent for Hydra, we do know there are lots of things that he has done that goes with this theory, including all the things that he's done in the past to hunt down Bruce Banner and obviously his involvement with the Avengers. The fact that he really pushed hard for the Sokovia Accords to basically break up the Avengers and then therefore criminalize any of the, any of the Avengers to stop them from working as a very cohesive group during that time where some of them were in prison and not able to help out. This all goes along with Hydra's plan, which is basically to create havoc and reap basically war and go for world domination. What are y'all's thoughts on General Thunderbolt Ross being a secret Hydra agent? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you really like this content and want more like this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below.